Hello everyone. So I was originally going to be reading an excerpt from Little Women, which is what I am writing down in this video, but there's so much dialogue back and forth that it seemed really difficult to keep track of the different voices and trying to express the story. Not to mention the book kind of starts off with four very whiny, complaining young women. And I felt like that wasn't as much fun to listen to as I had originally thought. So instead, I'm just going to talk about a few things and hopefully that will still be enjoyable. So the ink I am using is Diamine Ancient Copper, which is definitely one of my favorite inks. I don't know how I meant, forgot to mention it when I made a video about all the inks I would take if I were to move into a van, as it is probably my most emptied bottle of ink. I really like this ink quite a bit. The pen that it is in is a Parker Duo Fold Lucky Curve Junior from the 1920s. The body is a cardinal red, although it definitely is more orange. And I don't know if cardinal red was always more orange, or if cardinal red red ebonite always fades to an orange. All the cardinal red pens that I have from this time period are orange. It's a funny thing. This pen is definitely a gusher and puts down so much ink, which is quite wonderful and it's a lot of fun. I find myself enjoying wetter nibs. Uh, the more I get into this hobby, the more I have experience with fountain pens and even though I still appreciate a fine line I definitely like a juicier nib and this one is is that I will say it dries up pretty quickly and I think that's just because it doesn't regulate itself like some of the other pens does it's so enthusiastic to put all that ink down on the paper the paper by the way is a Leutsch term 1917 this is a pocket size uh, notebook. It, it's actually my daily journal. I'm just using a little bit from the back of the page, or the back of the book rather, and it is wrapped up in one of my newest Chic Sparrows. This is such a treasure. It's a Colonel Brandel, Brandon from the Mr. Darcy line, although I don't think it's called the Mr. Darcy line anymore. I think it's called the Jane Austen. I, I don't actually know. I apologize. But I had mentioned wanting this particular cover. It's a beautiful olive green uh, for a long time. And every time it came back into um, availability, I always missed it somehow. And I had mentioned it in a video and someone reached out to me very, very kindly on Instagram and said that she had purchased one from a second chance sale and wanted to know if I would like to buy it as from her. And I was really excited to take up that opportunity and very appreciative that she had thought of me when she was going to sell her journal cover. So now it's home with me. I thought it would be a beautiful combination with this orange pen. Just feels so perfectly fall, these beautiful autumn colors. Um, there was something else that I wanted to mention. Oh, at the very beginning, a couple of things. I have all of my vintage fountain pens in a Galen Leather 40 slot pen pouch, which I would love to share with you one of these days. It's a wonderful pen pouch. I have five more empty spaces, so eventually I will fill it, and then I will say I'm done with my vintage fountain pen collection. But I do remember, oh, maybe last year, or the year before, I shared my vintage fountain pen collection, and I think at the time I had them in a 10 slot pen pouch. And I think I said in that video that once the 10 slots were filled, I'd stop collecting vintage fountain pens. So that has, wow, very much come and gone. And I have quite a bit of vintage fountain pens I have been on a road trip for about two months now and I didn't bring any of my vintage fountain pens because I am rather protective of them. I did bring a lot of fountain pens with me but they're all modern ones 
And that was one of the things that I missed while I was away. And so being back only two days now, um, one of the first things that I've done is play with fountain pens and inks and revisit my collection, which has just been a whole lot of fun. I also, um, at the beginning of this video, when I filled the fountain pen, it's a button filler, and so I depressed the button a couple of times listening to the bubbles, and once the bubbles stop in the ink, then I know that the pen has been filled to maximum capacity. So anyways, yeah, random video. I just wanted to say hello and make a pen video because I am excited to be reunited with my pens. I'll talk to you guys later and I hope everyone is doing well. I look forward to being back on YouTube in a greater capacity.